I did a wall terrarium and I'm gonna take those plants, well, one of those terrariums and turn it into a potted plant and give it to my mom's health aid nurse. everyone welcome back to our channel the Soren Seawick family I'm Ivy if you're new here go ahead and smash that subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video we don't only do plants here we do life I believe anything you think of you might find a video about it on this channel okay you guys so I don't know if you remember but I will probably see if I can leave the link I did a wall terrarium and I'm gonna take those plants well one of those terrariums and turn it into a potted plant and give it to my mom's health aid nurse. I gave her a clipping of a silver satin pothos and she said it didn't do well at her home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wall terrarium because those plants have grown really, really well and I'm going to put it into soil, get it all set up and I'm gonna give her this plant tomorrow. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. And also, not only that, we're gonna clean out that terrarium and put a new plant in that terrarium of new cuttings, but it's gonna be a golden pothos. So if you wanna see how I do that, stay tuned, because we're about to get right into it. All right, you guys, so as you can see, this is the wall terrarium. This is the silver satin pothos. So you guys, I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, let me unravel it from around the wall. And look, you guys, look at this. It comes all the way, whoa, sorry, back here. Do you see that, you guys? It comes all the way back there. Wow. So we're definitely gonna cut that off. The last leaf is like right here, and then it goes all the way over there. So I am in my bathroom, and I'm just pouring the water out. Um, and I'm going to clean these roots off. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. They're pretty yucky, yo. But there's a lot of roots, so I believe she is really gonna do well with this plant. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out and I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave the pebbles in here, but I'm just gonna rinse everything off, okay? I don't even know how I wasn't paying attention to it. I look at her all the time and um, I just didn't realize. So I'm about to cut her off. I'm gonna clip it right here. I'm gonna clip it right there, okay? <sighs> okay, you guys, I am back. What I did is I went and I got a bigger size pot because these roots are, mmm, yes. I am gonna be using indoor potting mix and I am also gonna be using orchid bark to put at the top. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of orchid bark at the bottom as well. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is put the orchid bark at the bottom. So you guys know Earth Boy Sun and Rain lives by orchid bark and I love how he uses orchid bark. He introduced me to orchid bark with just all my regular um, plants. So now I am going to add some of the indoor potting mix and I'm gonna just mix that around. When I finish, I'm gonna water it because this soil is dry, okay? It is dry. It looks like this, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys up close to the GoPro. So right about now, I am going to switch views. So here you have the soil, and I am just going to take these roots and put them right in here, just like that. All right, I'm gonna put it in there. So I'm gonna add the soil on top of it and then hopefully it'll stand up. So then this would be the only parts that's outside of the, the pot, okay? This is the golden pot though. They're entwined anyway. Like I don't know whose roots is whose. So they're now one. That's gonna be amazing. So let's pour some more potting mix in here. 
I'm giving it a good amount as well. Really good amount. And I want it to like, just be down in there. Really want it to cover it up. And I'm going to put some more. So I'm gonna fill it up. Fill it up, fill it up. I want it to be down really good in there. You see how it's in here? All right, you see how it's in there? I'm going to add some orchid bark to it and then I'm going to water it. So I'm gonna do so. Let's add some orchid bark to the top. And we're almost done here, you guys, for this part. Oops. So I'm just not pushing down on it. This looks so good. Oh, wow. I absolutely love it! <laughs> Came out so good. Can't believe I'm giving it away. It's so awesome to see how much it's grown when we put it into the wall terrarium and now it can turn into an actual plant and we can pass it on. That is what's amazing. So let's go get her some water and then on to the new wall terrarium. We're gonna be putting some new um, plant pieces into that wall terrarium. I'm gonna leave this into the sink so it can drain properly. All right, let me give you some back history on this plant that we're gonna put into the terrarium, the wall terrarium. This plant was a part of a nice rescue plant that I got and I gave to my mom. You guys know when my mom gave plants and I put them in her room, she sometimes get a little, I don't know, anxious and start bothering the plant and touching the plant and doing things. And she ended up breaking the plant, okay? She broke the plant and now we're putting it in water to save the plant. And as you can see, we put it in water and it did get some roots. So because it has roots, some of them have not, like you see this one right here? It is no root. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna put it inside of the wall terrarium and I can take it out and sit it there. And these ones, let me show you the root. See how it has begun to get roots right there. The long white pieces sticking out the side of the roots. It has a small root right there. And these have just eh, barely. So we're gonna place them into the wall terrarium and see if we can get some roots and then we will plant those once the roots come. But that's some back history on this golden pothos. Poor thing, it's probably in distress, but look, right here, it's still budding. So we have hope. Here I have some bottled water, which I'm going to use. Put the bottled water in here, and then we're gonna tuck these bad boys into the water. I'm just gonna fill it up, just like so. Fill it up, try to lean it to the side, okay? And we're just gonna push them in there. Hopefully they stay. All right, you guys, so this wall terrarium is done. This is how it looks. And hopefully it catches on and it do well. We're gonna take it and we're going to hang it on the wall. So you can see the roots are in there. Some of the leaves that stay in the water for too long, they do turn brown and they die, but eventually it'll grow out and all those ones that's in there that do die, you can just take them out and dispose of them. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. But as long as the parts that you need to be are in the water, that's completely fine. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to do and see if we can bring it back and make it into another growing plant, healthy, strong plant in this home. Let's go hang this up. Okay, so here we are hanging it right back where it was. And let's adjust it a little bit. You watch how this plant does. I believe that it's going to do amazing just watch you see how it's all limp right now i'm gonna come back in a few weeks and keep you guys posted on this wall terrarium i didn't do a great job of keeping you guys posted of the last one i apologize but i will do my best to make sure that i get you an update very soon on this one if you guys are not following us on instagram at the soren seward family please go because i talk about the plants and stuff on there all the time go and follow us on instagram immediately and then you can ask me questions about plants and stuff and i can get back to you way sooner on there so hey you guys it's been about two weeks and look at this look she is growing up Look at that, new leaves are budding, she's doing well, she has caught on. But these ones right here have not 
caught on but they're not brown they're just there so i'm not going to take them off yet but look at these roots right here look at those roots how they are growing they're new and they are coming along and i am so so excited i believe that we have done well and inside of the terrarium let me see right there is a new one right here is a new leaf that's trying to get her way out of there and come out and grow up this wall and i am excited so yay i'll come back with another update you guys thank you so much for joining me today as we did this wall terrarium put into soil i think it came out really good what do you guys think you have the golden pothos here she's gonna be adjusting well and then you have the silver satin pothos so i am so excited for her Woo! two plants in one and if she ever want to separate it she can go ahead so with that being said until next time stay blessed stay true and continue to be who continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you and if you're not feeling needed remember here on the soaring semen family channel you are always needed see you guys on the next plant video or life video or kids vlog family vlog toy review we do life here peace out <laughs>